A pilot takes a taxi from the airport to a hotel. The taxi driver charges a $2.50 initial charge plus $2.65 per mile. Initial charge is actually an important word too. Which equation can be used to find Y, the total cost of the trip, if X represents the number of miles of the trip? I'm gonna create a table here too, you guys, okay? So they're telling me what my Y values and my X values represent. Y is the total cost and X is the number of miles. So let's look at this for a second. And I'm just gonna travel one mile for my little example here. It's kinda zero kinda acts kinda funny on these, so we're gonna start with one. It says that the taxi driver charges a $2.50 initial charge. So just for me getting into his car, I have to pay $2.50 plus 265 per mile. So for every mile after that that I drive, I have to pay $2.65. So let's imagine that I drive one mile, okay? I have to pay the $2.50 that he charges me just to get in plus $2.65 for one mile. So let's see what that cost is. $2.50 and $2.65 is going to come out to $5.15. So I know that if I travel one mile, I'm going to have to pay $5.15. I'm gonna calculate one more just to be on the safe side. So what if I go two miles? What am I gonna have to pay? Well, he's gonna charge me 265 for each mile. So he's gonna charge me 265 two times. 265 two times. plus the initial $2.50 he charges just for me to get in the car. So $5.30 plus $2.50. Again, two miles at $2.65 a mile plus the $2.50 initial charge. So he's gonna charge me $7.80 to travel two miles. So now I'm gonna test my answers here, okay? And I wanna see that when I plug in one mile or one for X, that I get $5.15 in return. So I'm gonna just, to save myself a little bit of time, write a little baby one above each of these, okay? And this is gonna take, save me some time and space, okay? So I'm gonna multiply $2.50 times one, and then add 265. Well, I know that 250 times one is 250, and then I need to add 265. Oops, 265. Well, wait, I just did that right over here. It's a good thing I didn't throw away my work, right? Because I have the answer. So that's 515. What do I want my Y value to be when I plug in X as one? 515. That one works. Doesn't mean necessarily that it's the answer, but it could be. Okay, what about this one? PEMDAS says that I need to add because the parentheses are here. So I'm gonna add one plus $2.50. So that gives me $3.50. Okay, and then I'm gonna have to multiply those two numbers. That's a lot of work, but I can do it. So 265 times $3.50. Okay, again, I'm gonna do all my scratch work off to the side so that my equation work is organized. And I can take off this extra zero, it's not necessary. 
Remember, I do not have to line up my decimals when I'm multiplying. If you want to pause here and resume play, see if you get the answer right, you can. And I'm going to place my decimal three decimal places over. So that came out to $9.28. Well, that was not correct because when I plugged in one mile, I wanted to get $5.15. So G doesn't work. Okay, so how about here? Well, I already have the 250, right? 250 times one. Oh, no, this one's different. Okay, so 265 times one. It's just 265 and now I need to subtract $2.50. So 265 minus $2.50. Again, my scratch work is off to the side. I'm not scribbling anything out. I'm not erasing anything because I never know when I might need this stuff again. And um, subtracting these numbers. And now I see 15 cents, but I wanted $5.15. So that one was kind of, seemed like it might be close, but nope. Okay, and then I've got one more here. I'm almost done. So $2.65 times one plus $2.50. So 265 times one is 265 plus the $2.50. And again, I just did that right over here. So it does come out to $5.15, which is what I want. Okay, so now I see that answer choice G and H are not gonna work, and answer choice F and J do work. So I'm gonna try them again. And I've got all this extra space. I'm not crossing anything out. Um, and I'm gonna. And I had already done the work to figure out two miles. So let's rewrite answer choice F. Remember that the equation y equals two dollars and fifty cents times x plus two dollars and sixty-five cents. I'm gonna rewrite that equation with two for x instead. Y equals two dollars and fifty cents times two plus two dollars and sixty five cents and I'm gonna want seven dollars and eighty cents to come out there and then for J I'm gonna plug in two for X Y equals two dollars and sixty five cents times two plus two dollars and fifty cents all right, so let's figure this out. 250 times two first. You can do that off to the side somewhere. Can y'all see that still? There we go. 2.5 times two. I've got an unnecessary zero. Okay, that gives me five. And I still need to add $2.65 there, which is gonna be $7.65. And 65 cents, so close, but I wanted 780. Let's try J. 265 times two is $5.30. And I'm gonna add $2.50. And I don't have to do it again because I did it earlier, $7.80. And that's exactly what I wanted when I plugged in X as two. So I've just figured out that the answer was J. A lot of work, guys. Look at all that work. But you can do it. And we got the answer right. Great job.